Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a chit chat get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in I think about a year, so I felt like it was the time. I have a few life updates and also I had asked you guys if you had some questions for me to answer in this video, so we're gonna get to those as well. Let's just get started because I'm very chatty. <laughs> just quickly, I'm already wearing my base. I don't usually wear foundation, but I felt like I wanted a little something today, so I went with the Maybelline Dream BB Pure and then the NYX Total Control Foundation. I just mixed a few drops of these two together and that's what I'm I'm wearing. I'm gonna do my makeup and just chat to you guys. Also, I just want to get to know, I want you guys to get to know me more and I want to get to know you guys more. So feel free to chime in about like anything I talk about in the video in the comments. I love to have conversations with you guys. It literally makes my day. Answering your comments make me so happy. The fact that you guys are so excited about my content. You, just, you don't understand how happy it makes me. You don't. <laughs> For my foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. I just got this. I've been using it for like two, three weeks, I want to say. And I've been really liking it. What I was using before was the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I just started finding that it was too dry for me in the winter. Like it's getting cold and we're getting into that time of the year. It was creasing so bad for me. I wanted to try this and it's been working a little bit better. I have it in this shade Butterscotch. It's okay. I wish it was one to two shades shades lighter I think just like to highlight a little bit more I feel like it matches me like too well <laughs> okay what do we want to talk about first I think maybe the biggest news is that we are moving and I say we I don't know yeah there's like a lot more of you thank you by the way I check my creator app and my subs are like going up and up not crazy numbers but it makes me so happy like I can't tell you guys I already I mean I already said it but it makes me so excited every time someone subscribes I'm like you care enough <laughs> um but yeah anyways I totally what was I saying? Oh yeah, I said we were moving. We, for the people that are new, is my boyfriend and I, Dustin. We live in our house right now, but he had bought another house before this one. We were only supposed to live here like a year because we were waiting for that other house. And then when the other house was done, he just decided that it was better to rent it. So it was rented for a year and then they left. So now we've decided to move into it and I'm so excited. And that's why my background is like a little sad today. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. It's because the house is kind of a mess. Like there's stuff everywhere and we're obviously like we started packing. We don't have an exact date. We just are hoping to get in there before Christmas. There's no pressure to be out of here luckily because we didn't sell this house. We're probably gonna end up trying to rent this one. So there's no one like kicking us out. So we're just taking our time, which is good. But then it like makes you slow. <laughs> obviously you're like, I have time, I have time. But then now like Christmas is around the corner and we're like, we need to pick a house. We don't even have a tree up because we haven't decided like where we're gonna be but now we've decided so yeah we're just trying to like rush now and throw everything together excited to move i'm excited about the house and i'm gonna be doing a house tour also i was gonna ask you guys if you want to see it but honestly i love watching them so i was like i have to do it like now that i'm doing youtube when i'm moving like i feel like i have to <laughs> i have to film a empty house tour so i'm gonna do that so that's probably gonna be the next video so if you're into that stay tuned the thing i'm most excited about is the office my office there is gonna be my bigger and I'm really excited to just like decorate it and make it nice and make it a better filming space and hopefully I'll be able to film more because I really want to film more. You guys subbing and like commenting and everything like just gives me so much confidence to keep doing this. I'm just really excited to keep creating content and I think that space is gonna allow me to do that more. Plus it's a little bit more of my aesthetic and oh my gosh this is the best part. I doesn't have carpet. I've literally ruined this carpet with makeup. Um, <laughs> It's so bad. I, I can be so clumsy. It's like really bad. But yeah, I won't have to deal with carpet anymore, which I'm really happy. Oh my god, I've like just over blended my concealer talking. Oh, I can't do these videos. I'm so chatty. I'm so excited to tell you guys things that I can't focus. But yeah, so I won't have to deal with carpet anymore. And I know I had started that office makeover series and that's going to keep going. It's just going to take a step back as in the office is going to now be empty and then we're going to build from there. But I feel like maybe that's even more interesting that like you'll get to see the whole transformation from start to finish. So yeah, get excited about that content and also let me know like what else you want to see housewise. I definitely plan on doing like a closet organization the office and then that empty house tour if there's anything else let me know oh I'm not gonna use this actually I got a new eyebrow pencil shape and shade brow tint and it's in the color stud I've been using this the last like oh what it has a blending end 
just got this and I've just been using the pen side. It's nice so far. The colors are really good match actually, I really like it. I did do a video with my cats, so I feel like I should update you on them. They are so much bigger than they were in that video. How did you grow so fast? Like we haven't even had Luna for a whole year. She's a year old, but we haven't had her for a whole year because obviously you don't get them like at birth. But yeah, she's, they're so big. <laughs> And I look back at pictures and I'm like, wow, I really didn't enjoy it enough when they were that tiny and they were so cute. I mean, they're still adorable. They just drive me a little bit more crazy than they used to. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know. I'll just insert some of my stories and you can see for yourself. I'm gonna get to some of your questions. I was gonna keep just talking randomly, but I also think that some of your questions address some of the things that I should be catching you up on anyways. So I'm gonna start answering questions. Let me pull them up. First question says, how do, oh my God, how do you maintain your straight hair throughout the week? Okay, I, I know guys, okay, I know. I have gotten this question so many times and I'm so sorry, I hear you, I hear you, okay? I'm gonna do that video, I promise. There's just some videos that I wanted to do before then, but I will film it like I will, because I get that question all the time. And honestly, I wanna say thank you though. I'm not complaining about getting that question because it is a good video idea. I hadn't thought of it myself, so I will be doing that for sure. Answering it in this video would just like wouldn't make sense and it would just be too much. What do I do for a living? So, okay, hold on. Let me just finish this brow and I'll answer that question. Funny because the last get ready with me I did, I was just graduating from my master's in speech pathology. But um, right now I am actually a full-time content creator and not a speech pathologist. YouTube and Instagram, just social media is my full-time thing at the moment. I'm just like really starting out. Like things have just been really progressing this year, but I'm lucky enough to be in a situation where I can really just focus on this and just put all my energy into it so yeah i'm currently a full-time content creator next question is how tall are you i'm like five seven and a half five eight i don't know what that is in centimeters i think it's like maybe like 170 173 i'm not sure whoa why did i put that blush so close that is my height i'm not that tall like i would love to be taller i've heard people say five seven is like average and then others say it's not but anyways i'd love to be taller i'd love to be like five nine at least everything i've ever done has required you to be tall that's why it just like ended up being my preference when i was playing volleyball i wanted to be taller <laughs> when i was modeling i wanted to be taller so yeah it's just like ingrained in my head that i would want to be taller next question says how has your style evolved over time oh my gosh I feel like that needs a whole video on its own as well. It's really changed. I went through a period of like so much discovery and just trying so many different styles out because I went to a high school where we wore uniform except one day of the month where you would pay your dollar or $2. I can't remember what it was. And then you could wear your outfit. It was like dress down day. <laughs> oh, that concept is still like what to me now. I'm like, I had to pay to wear my own clothes. Like, wow, thank you. When I started university, I remember being like, what do I wear? Like, I don't know what to do because I only had to think about my outfit once a month. I didn't really think about style too much back then. I was like, oh, this is a nice top, I buy it. Oh, this is a nice pair of pants, nice skirt, whatever it was, and I would buy it. And then my closet was just kind of mix mash of like all these things that I don't think I knew exactly how to put together. I don't know, but I think like back then also people would compliment my outfits and say that I have good style. I think my style has definitely become like more refined and very much more minimal. I used to wear like colors and patterns and like random things that didn't make sense, but also that just made sense for the time. I think style is like hugely different now than it was back then like you guys now like you don't have an awkward stage like you all are just cool out of the womb and it really upsets me like if i show you some of my high school pictures yeah anyways my style has definitely evolved maybe i'll do a video on that showing you guys my transformation and showing just tragic outfits <laughs> from back then until now if you could have anyone's closet for a day who would it be oh my god impossible question girl that is so hard there's so many people on social media that i follow like so many other bloggers content creators that i follow that i'm like I want your closet. Mostly also because they have like all these designer pieces that I constantly lust after. Next question is, what do you plan to do during the holidays? Oh my God, I have no idea. <laughs> In 2020, I feel like asking people for their plans is just like, 
Okay, I'm actually lucky where I live. I live in Ottawa, by the way, in Canada. I'm lucky we are not in lockdown. My sister's in Toronto and they're in lockdown. So we're lucky enough not to be in complete lockdown, which is nice, but there's not, there's still not much to do, right? And especially for the holidays, this whole thing hasn't really affected my holidays, luckily. Occasionally we go to New York because we have family there, but we don't go every year. So I'm not really missing it this year. Like it doesn't stand out because like maybe we wouldn't have gone anyways. The holidays are gonna look the same. I mean, we're gonna see our families. I think the only thing that's gonna be different is New Year's. I usually always like go out with my friends. We usually do something like go to a party or club or whatever. Last year we went to Toronto, so that obviously can't happen this year. So I don't know what New Year's is gonna look like at all, to be honest, but like what what can you do what are you guys doing for the holidays and where are you guys watching from and is your city open or not are you guys good or are you not at all because i know some places are really struggling still okay number one place you'd want to travel to oh my god this makes me sad number one place i'd want to visit is greece we're probably gonna end up going to greece this year and i'm so bummed like this year all the traveling that could have happened i i want to cry every time i think about it all the things that could have happened this year that just Nope. <laughs> but yeah, Greece is definitely the number one. Like there is not even a second one because I can't think far enough. Like I just need to go to Greece and then I can think about anywhere else after. <laughs> Someone said, I know you graduated from speech pathology last summer, question mark? No, November. And did you find a job in your field or are you only doing YouTube for now? But yeah, I graduated last year and I didn't find a job in my field because I wasn't looking for one. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was gonna take some time off. I just didn't know how much time, but now it's been a year. And um, yeah, I haven't looked for a job. I don't know if I will. <laughs> But yeah, I'm doing YouTube full time and Instagram as well, like just content creation in general. And yeah, I'm not like really looking forward to finding a job. I'm constantly debating because it would be nice to have the experience in the field but at the same time like what i'm doing right now is going well and i'm enjoying it so much that i don't think it's a good time to put a break on it and it's like i gave school like my entire life so i feel like i could use another like year of doing social media so anyways we'll see next question she had okay i mimi Didi. i love that you had this many questions appreciate you being so curious about me her next question was would you ever move from ottawa if yes where and why i think if you asked me a couple years ago my answer would have been absolutely yes even when i was going into my masters i was dying like when i tell you dying like absolutely dying to move to toronto and i didn't get in that school and i like bawled my eyes out i was so upset because like all my motivation to get into the masters was because i wanted to go to toronto <laughs> so yeah i cried my little face off when i didn't get in and ended up staying in Ottawa, which honestly, blessing in disguise. Like, I'm so happy that that happened in hindsight. You know, hindsight is 2020. I hate when people say that. <laughs> so yeah, a couple years ago, my answer would have been absolutely yes. But now I'm very appreciative of where I am in my life and how comfortable I am here. So I don't really see myself moving. Like, I don't see the need for it. I'm just too comfortable like if i'm comfortable just don't bother me honestly even moving to the new house that we're moving to dustin basically had to beg me for months like convince me that we should move to this new house because i'm so comfortable and i liked that house when we were first like designing it when it was being built i was like dying to live in this house and then now it's like the reverse role when he's like please 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 like, let's move this house and i'm like no nah, like i'm good if i'm comfortable it's very hard for me to like I don't like change my phone updates and I like have a mental breakdown. <laughs> I haven't been enough places for like that long of a time that I would be like, I can picture myself functioning here and living here. The only other place I would think would be LA as a career move for both of us. For those who don't know, Dustin is also a YouTuber. He's like the YouTuber in the relationship actually. He's done extremely well for himself. LA as a career move, I guess, but I don't know that living in the States is on top of my list of things to do. But again, ask me a couple years ago, I would have been like, plane ticket and packed already. <laughs> have you done a vision board for 2021? Is there a point? <laughs> I don't know, honestly, I hadn't thought about it. I did do one for 2020, and I don't even remember specifically what's on it, but a lot of traveling that didn't happen. I guess I should. We should We should still all do one and hope for the best. I just won't put any traveling on it, because I don't need my heart broken again. But yeah, any goals I want to accomplish, I just want whatever I'm doing with social media to keep growing and become more and more sustainable. And I want to get better with the content I create 
period, I would love to be at a point where I'm getting like consistent work and making more off of it, obviously. I just wanna like keep mastering my craft, keep getting better at videos. I'd say those are my biggest goals. Otherwise, like the only things I care about is to be happy overall and satisfied with my life and where I'm at and um, for like myself and my family and my friends to be healthy and happy as well. Everything else is just an extra and a bonus. I love this mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. It just gives me the prettiest like fluttery like fanned out lashes. I love it. Someone's asking about my favorite Kerastase mask. I've tried so many I can't even like keep track anymore. I think I'd have to say the one that I showed in that shiny hair video. I'll put the name on the screen. It's like the Elixir something. I don't remember. It's the one that makes your hair shiny. I really like that one. I really like the whole range of that. Like I want to get that set again because I look back at my hair when I was using it and it was stunning. I'm gonna finish off with some powder and I think this is the last of your questions. So she asked, what is your, your Black Friday purchases? Oh my God. Uh, I didn't buy a single thing for Black Friday. There's nothing I needed. Well, I could have done my Christmas shopping. That would have been smart. <laughs> uh, one year, I did do all my Christmas shopping on Black Friday. And come Christmas time, everyone's like, come shopping with me. Like, come to the mall. And I was like, no, can't. I'm done already. Like, it was so nice to not have to stress last minute. Didn't do that this year. I will be stressing last minute. Even though I tried to cancel Christmas once again. Not Christmas, just like no gifts. I did buy a chair from my office. Um, like I was saying, I did buy a chair for my office, which I'm excited about, but it was out of stock. So I think it said it's not coming until March, which is so long. And I didn't buy it on Black Friday. I bought it like in the Cyber Monday sale. But yeah, that's the only thing. And you guys will see that when I do like the office videos. But yeah, that was it. Did you guys buy anything? Let me know what you guys got. My hair kind of lost. It's like curl and got a little frizzy. I'm done my face. This is my look for today. I think that's everything I wanted to update you guys on. I feel like I covered everything, but maybe not. I don't know. It's kind of all over the place filming this video. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, if you want to keep updated with my life, follow me on Instagram. Watch my stories. I share a good amount with those, especially if you want to keep updated with our move. I'm definitely gonna story that. Thank you guys so much for watching and for your support. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And here's two more videos to keep watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.